Uh, hello guys, for example you try to overclock your Xeon E5 processor on X99 motherboard and when you enable overclocking feature and start overclocking your CPU, for example we set multiplier, set extra core voltage, ok, save, and then when we see that our overclocking applied, PC successfully started booting. But then, for example, when we wish try to stress test our CPU, for example, using CPU Z, we can see here that our multiplier applied. It's 42, okay, but when we run stress test, we can see that our PC starts to throttling. Here we can see that our PC starts to throttling and our multiplier from 42 make 40. And that's why, that's because here you can see our CPU package TPD is 140 watts. And it doesn't allow us to reach more higher frequency because of ma maximum of TPD. And in this video I wish to share with you how we can increase our TPD to reach higher frequencies, to reach higher multipliers and to allow our PC to work with more than 140 TPD. Because according to Intel web page, for example for this E5 1660 V3 maximum TPD is 140 watts. So when under full full load, our CPU starting to reach this 140 watts, then it starts to throttling because of power limit. We need to break this power limit, and I will show you how. And for this, we need to reboot our PC and enter BIOS again. We can remove power limit by just by using our BIOS. Just follow my instructions step by step. We need to go here, advanced power management configuration. And in this step, we need to apply some settings. I will show you what settings. First, power technology, custom, config TPD. Enable this config TPD level nominal. This settings disabled. Okay, next the this step CPU P state control. Here, here we need to apply these settings. Enable, enable, mm -hmm. disable, enable, and here max performance. Yes. Next step CPU T state control. Here in this step, we need to change this package C state limit to C0, C1 state. And here this C3 disabled, C6 enabled. Ok, next tab, CPU T state control, here enable, ok. Next CPU advanced PM tuning, here we need to open first. Uh, first step this energy perf bias and here this enabled this enabled here we need to change to io sensitive and 23 35 58 let's leave it as it is here next up program <laughs> uh -huh. and here in this tab manual current config Enable and here we need to write maximum 2048. 2048. PCI config. We don't need to change anything here. And next, next step, last step, socket route config. And in this step, mm -hmm, disable, enable. Here we need to write. 255 five. here we need to write 
five six here below p1 here enable here we need to write two five five and below p1 okay that's all now we can save changes and exit you can see that our pc booting successfully that's already good half of success that it's booting Okay, PC successfully booted, let's open our CPU-Z again, or AIDA again, and let's see. Here our CPU package, and let's run our stress test again. And what we can see that our PC no more throttling. Here you can see power 160 watt, 165 watts, and our PC doesn't throttle anymore. Our multiplier 42 stay, our frequency 4.2 GHz stay stable, and our power is our power is up to 100. 70 watts even it's working so now we can see that our pc doesn't throttle anymore uh, by this method i uh, you can increase power limit and now our power limit is up to 245 uh, 245 watts our power limit now we set it in BIOS uh, yes maybe it will be dangerous for your power lines on your motherboard but if you wish you can risk and use this method to increase your power limit and make it unlimited because by default as for the own a5 1660 v3 power limit by intel set up to 140 by just by using our bias by changing power settings we can increase our power limit up to unlimited okay guys if this video was useful for you was interesting for you please press like button write some comment or even subscribe to my channel uh, i think i will leave in description link for google drive with screenshots of bios settings if you wish you can check it and maybe you can just watch this video while you will um, set your bios settings and just press pause and set your settings according to this my video okay guys thanks for watching have a nice day please subscribe to my channel if this video was useful for you was interesting for you because when i'm trying to find answers to solution how how to increase power limit i can't find it in the internet there is no guides like this so i decided to film my own guide. Thanks for watching.